women emailing me about soul ties and how not to get caught up in one. Earlier, while I was out walking, I started thinking about how I got caught up in an ungodly soul tie I was in years ago. And if you don't know my story, you can read my book, Soul Ties Unchain My Heart. It's on Amazon. Most of us know that men are visual. If they see a woman uh, that they are physically attracted to, they usually tend to go after her. But few women understand that we are audible. And what I mean by that is we tend to be won over by what a man says instead of what he does. We pay more attention to what he says than we do to his actions. Hi, I'm Dr. Patricia Shaw, a Christian relationship coach and founder of the Purpose Woman Inner Circle. And I help lead women to their definition of relationship success so they can find rapture in the warm embrace of love rather than fear. I began on this journey to inspire the soul of a woman, gently nudging her to overcome her limiting beliefs so she could attract a life partner that fulfills her heart and needs on every level. See, relationships have the ability to raise us up and elevate our being to new heights only when they are entered into with readiness and intention. Listen, if he can get in your head, then he can get between your legs. Let me repeat myself. If he can get in your head, then he can get between your legs. I know, I know, I know. Somebody's scratching their head and wondering exactly what am I talking about? <laughs> okay, well, let me take you back to the Garden of Eden where Mother Eve was. Eve was tricked by what she heard audible. And what she heard allowed her to paint a visual image in her mind, her thoughts, of something she wanted. And that illusion helped her to see something she wanted, which ultimately caused her to take a bite out of the forbidden fruit. Now, I know the word does not specifically tell us what kind of fruit it was, but most... Uh, scholars tend to say it was an apple but either way she took a bite out of the forbidden fruit which was a physical act see if he can't get in your head with enticing words and false promises aka lies then he can't get between your legs and have you caught up emotionally and physically Remember, ladies, guarding your heart begins with your thoughts. So when I learned how to guard my heart, the importance of it, then in walked my husband. <laughs> and yes, he was able to get in my head. And yes, I did get in her head. <laughs> and here we are 32 years later, still in her head. Yes, he is. And so remember, ladies, guarding your heart is more than just um, something you read in the Word. It is something you do. Hi, I'm Dr. Patricia Shaw, and until next time, take care. See you real soon. <laughs>